Hey guys, it's Powell and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I was inspired by a video that I saw on my YouTube like recommended page, which was painting like iconic movie scenes. But that was not my only inspiration. The other inspiration I had was my Day 3 Inktober drawing, which if you watched my last video, it is this kind of like Coraline-like drawing. And I was inspired by it because, one, I love the movie Coraline, and two, I love painting. So, why don't I paint a scene from Coraline? So that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be painting a scene from one of my favorite Halloween movies, Coraline, and I can't wait for you guys to watch. So, let's take it to the overhead view so you guys can watch me as I paint a scene from the movie Coraline. So I have a very light sketch down of what I'm going to be painting today and as you can tell by the title, I'm painting a scene from one of my favorite Halloween movies of all time, Coraline, and I wanted to do one of the scenes of her going through the like tunnel that goes to the world with like the other mother and other father and all of that because I think it is just so cool, like all of the stuff in that movie is so artistic and so beautiful, I don't know, I just love it. So I'm gonna start by trying to do the background first and then doing Coraline last. So let's get started. All right, so I started off with a light pencil sketch of this Coraline scene. I chose the scene of her in the tunnel going in between the worlds of like reality and the alternate reality with the other mother and the other father and all that jazz. But I started off with a light pencil sketch. I am I am just wetting the page and adding light washes of blue, purple, pink and more blue in the order that they appear in the background. Now, once those light washes are all nice and dry, I I'm going in with darker shades of those same colors to add some more dimension and really get the shape of this like tunnel because it is like really funky it's not just like a circle it's like a weird material where it kind of like folds over on itself so I'm adding in those darker bits and then I'm blending them out kind of as I go and I'm just mixing each shade that I need and adding it where I need to add it. So you'll see right now I'm kind of blending out those really harsh dark lines. I am trying to avoid the Coraline outline as much as possible. I do want to get like rather close because touching up at the end after I've already painted her is going to be a little tricky, but I am just going in with these lines. And I'm not exactly like following the reference picture like to a T with like where I'm placing these lines. I just got kind of like the general shape and like placement, not like being too precise because 
I would just drive myself crazy if I was trying to replicate it exactly. So you can kind of see I went for the bottom corners. So I started with the very center and then I went all the way to the outside and worked my way back towards the inside. As I keep going you're seeing like more and more of like the picture or like the scene kind of come to life. And I'm making sure to make these lines not like perfectly round or perfectly like straight or anything like that. I want them to be like jagged because it looks like the tunnel is made out of fabric. So I want it to like look like there's folds and creases and the edges aren't perfect. Just a bunch of touch-ups kind of like here and there where I think it needs more contrast or more saturation or more color and stuff like that. A skin tone shade earlier and I'm just going in and doing her face I am NOT really focusing on trying to get any features right now I just want this light wash of color and as I'm painting it I realize that I need to get new water because the skin looks rather blue so I'm picking it up and then I'm getting new water and then restarting <laughs> because my water got super blue and like purpley after doing the background and I should have changed the water I knew I should have but I didn't so I had to do it later but it's okay so now I'm just going in again and it looks much better and I'm not like mad if there's like a slight blue tint because I mean there's blue all around here so it will be like reflected onto her skin so it looks like it's supposed to be there it doesn't look bad so I kind of vibed with it and let it happen the next thing I did was fill in the brown of her eyes not the black but just the brown and then I started to mix the color for her pajamas which was kind of like a red-orange color. You'll see me mixing it in my little tray, and then I just get a flat brush, like a small flat brush, and fill in that like wash of color. 
I will be going in later with more details. You are just gonna see my head for right now <laughs> because I had to get really close to make sure I wasn't like mixing colors with the background or anything. I wanted to make sure the edges of her pajamas were not like crossing over into the background. So sorry, but you're gonna see my head for a little bit. same color and kind of like outline her pajamas. I kind of skipped over that because I did um, not want to have like my head covering this shot again. But now I'm just going in with a detail brush and I put in some purple dots on her pajamas because her pajamas do have purple polka dots on them. And now I'm going in with a light wash of blue for her hair because if you've seen the movie Coraline, you know she has some iconic blue hair. It's not like bright blue, but it's like a dark navy kind of blue. But she's in this environment where it's all blue, so her hair just like really like looks blue like more than ever, I feel like, in this like picture. So I just did a light wash of blue and then I got a slightly darker, more muted blue and went around the edges and then I did her eyebrows with that same color. detail brush I did her lips with a similar color to her pajamas but just like muted it a little bit and added in that skin tone so it didn't look like the pajama color but looked like a more natural lip color. Doing her nose was probably the most challenging part because it is such a small like painting but I managed to get like the light wash of the color that I needed to shade the nose area. But going in with a detail brush, I'm just using a very creamy consistency of a darkish blue, and I'm going in and putting in like strands of hair. You can kind of see I'm just going in like one strand at a time and leaving sections of highlight because that is the whole point of doing the wash beforehand is so you can have those light areas that you go around. And then once I get those done, I go in with a even darker blue. So I mix some black into the other blue that I used and then just added more depth to her hair. just adding some shading to her face and neck so it doesn't look like it's just one big blob and then I'm kind of going in with some pink and adding some rosy cheeks and touching up the shading on the nose this I was having a lot of trouble with because I felt like it kept looking like she had a dog nose because it was so dark but then I ended up getting it to the point where I liked it. And then I went in with a fine liner and outlined her eyes, a little bit of her nose, and her mouth. And then the only other thing I outlined besides the stuff on her face was her hand that is like going forward in the picture.
And then I added some white details with my white gel pen. This is kind of an unnecessary step, but I thought it kind of added a little bit, added some more contrast to the painting by just adding some more lights back in. And that is the piece all done. So I'm gonna untape it and then you will see the final piece. All right guys, that is this Coraline painting all done. I really like the way that it turned out and I think I'm gonna have to watch some Coraline later. All right, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Click that red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. That's all I got for you guys today. It has been super fun painting this movie scene with you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, bye.